So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut an object in half with Blender's bisect tool. So this is Blender 2.91. I'm going to keep it really quick, really simple. You can see here is one of the results here, just cutting an object in half. So um, if you want to learn how to do this, keep watching the tutorial and let's get started. Okay, so I've got a fresh scene open up in Blender. I'm just going to delete all of the default objects. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to go Shift A, go to my mesh options. I'm adding in a monkey head here, just to demonstrate this. And I'm also just going to subdivide mine. You don't have to do this, just give it some more geometry. And I'm just going to go to the modifiers and apply that modifier. So now I've got this here. Now, if you actually want to see the bisect tool, you're not going to see it over here. You need to be working in edit mode. So select the object you wish to cut. In this case, it's the Suzanne monkey head. And you go up here to object mode and then change it to edit mode. You can also hit the tab key to do that as a shortcut. So make sure in edit mode over here. Now, if we actually go over here, you're going to see a tool here called the knife tool. Now, to see the bisect tool, you actually have to left click on this, hold in the button, and then come down and hover over the bisect and let go. And now that bisect tool is selected. So if it, for example, if I were to deselect all of this geometry here and I were to click here, nothing would happen. For the bisect tool to work, you actually need to have an active mesh. So make sure to hit A and make sure all of the mesh is active and selected. So once that's done, make sure you're in your front orthographic view. You can hit one on your number pad as a shortcut. If that doesn't work for you, just make sure to go to view, viewport, and then go to the front orthographic view over here. So what I'm gonna do is with this mesh active, I'm gonna just click somewhere here with my left button and I'm just gonna pull out here and you can see this line. Now this line here is whatever you want to cut. So wherever it's intersecting through, it's going to cut on that plane. Okay. So in my front orthographic view, it's going to be perfectly head on. If I did it from the right view, it would be happening from the right. If I did it from the top, that plane would be from the top perspective. So I'm just going to go with something like that. I'm going to let go. Now, by the way, this thing down here, you can actually pull that around and rotate it and stuff. And that can still give you some um, a little bit of play. So for example, you didn't get it quite right the first shot. So go ahead and mess around with that if you want. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here to the bisect tool option. So open this up and these settings here are super simple. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you these first two. So if we go to the clear inner, so for example, I clicked on it, it'll get rid of this half over here. If I untick that, it'll bring it back. If I want it only the other part, I can hit clear outer and then it gets rid of that outer part, just like that, which is pretty cool. Now, for example, say if I wanted to fill this automatically, I can also come here and click on fill. And it'll fill that for me. So now I've got this cut. The only downside is now we've lost the other part. So I can do the same thing. I can untick this one and go to clear inner. Now we have this part and it is filled because we have the fill button enabled. But what I want to do is have both of them. So what you can do is just enable um, untick both of them. So you have both parts. And then what you can simply do is with this st uh, um, still active, you can see that this cut here is still orange. So it's active. If you hit the V key on your keyboard, so hit V and right click to let go, it'll actually cut that for you. So now what you have to do is with that edge still selected, you can hit Control L or Command L, and it'll select the active mesh that it's connected to. In fact, also hold in Shift and just select the eye here if you have another loose part, and also hit Control L. Just so all of that loose geometry is selected. And then we simply need to hit P, so this is the shortcut, hit P on your keyboard, and then we're gonna separate by selected. Now if we hit the Tab key or we go manually here into object mode, we have two pieces in our object mode. Now, both of these are um, open, as you can see here, if I move that piece to the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one, tab into edit mode, and just go um, shift, alt, and then click on the edge here, and that'll loop select this whole edge. And then if you hit the F key, it'll fill that in for you. So tab out of edit mode, and then select the other piece, and then do the same thing, shift, alt, and then click here on the edge. It'll loop select the whole edge, and then hit the F key and it'll fill it for you. Now tab out of edit mode, and here we have two pieces. You can um, play around with them, see what you like. Now if you wanna add smoothing to this, so for example, we're in Shade Smooth, select this piece, Shade Smooth. It looks a little bit messy in the edges. One thing you can do to fix that is you can add in an edge split and then mess around here with the angle. And you can do the same for this one here, add in an edge split. So that is a little tip of the day, something I hope is useful for you guys and that you can put into your workflow. So I'll see you guys next time for another little tutorial. And if you want to learn more stuff like character, um, modeling and rigging, I've got all that sort of stuff on my channel, um, the whole nine yards.